All right, Silent Night, a Christmas delivery. Let's check it out. Start. We begin. All right, how do we control? Um, arrow keys? All right, combo. How does one, how to control? Crash with elegance. Okay, we've crashed. The game gives me no instructions on how to control the sleigh. Is it mouse space or do you need, to, do you need to use a controller? Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. It's uh, one of these. Okay. Wow, you are just all over the place. The question is, can I use my controller? That's a real question. Getting that combo. All right, got my controller in my hand now. Can we just, uh... Ah, yes. Twas designed for controller. Oh, it feels very good on controller. All right, so we're trying to get all these houses. Get that mouse off my screen. All right. We, we must find the houses and give them presents. So the demo has a time limit for three minutes per run. So we'll show you at least one run. If I like it, we might do more. Okay. Let's keep on moving over here. It, the, it feels pretty smooth moving around. I like the way the, the reindeer look when you're doing these little, like, spinny circle dealies. It's pretty cool. Ow. Busting this stuff. All right. I feel like a little bit of music would be good. I'm glad there's no, like, copyright music, you know, Christmas time music, because then, you know, instant demonetization, but, like, some kind of background noise would be good, right? All right, so are we, are we gonna, like, hit the same houses again and again? Or... Oh, completed. Okay. So, do we now travel to a different island? Okay. Weird... or area. We are completed with that area. It does feel like we're doing tiny little islands. So, like, a way to boost. Oh, that brings up the menu. Continue. Nope. I guess just kind of go with a steady space. Steady speed. I think it's designed to be, like, kind of a chill game is the vibe I'm getting. Um, it did say in the Steam uh, description that, uh... Am I, like... Was I hitting snow there? I feel like I was getting points there. I'm like getting points for being near these rocks and things. Do I, am I gaining or losing points? I'm gaining points for like buzzing the. Oh, wait, did I get bonus points for like smacking to trees? Hold on. Hold the phone. I am. I'm getting bonus points for smacking into trees. Wait, time out. Oh, I guess that's the, that's the three minute mark. Okay. That's pretty neat. Let's uh, hop in again. And I want to. First thing I want to do is I want to smack into a tree. Yeah, you get points for uh, s smacking into trees. All right. I don't know why. You can't. S you can well, I wow, wow, fish that, that. I fished that island real quick. Okay. So it's kind of like a game where like, you either just like doing some chill vibes, or you're trying to like get high scores and let's fish as fast as we can. So do I need to like get points? So am I trying to like? Do I need to like get my? Gifts to every house. Like, oh, there's ten houses on this island. Gotta get, uh, gifts to all these ten guys. Or it's just like a score-based thing. Wait, wh who was I delivering to there? There was no house there. What is happening? Who lives in a tree? I don't know. Let's, uh, here we go. Here, have some gifts. So far, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. I think it was a game that's designed to be both on PC and mobile, based on the fact that you can do, uh, this. But, uh, yeah. Or maybe it's, like, designed for all systems. Give me a... Ah! Oh, I'm panicking. Oh, I'm all over the place. I see. We missed one. Maybe we do gotta hit... Maybe we do have to hit all, like, the buildings or whatever. Completed. You'll love to see it. Alright. I think we'll give a little bit of love over here. Here we go. Hey, got some gifts for you. There you go. Don't spin it all in one place. Would you like some more? Fantastic. There we go. Oh, well, that's satisfying right there. That is satisfying. You get a combo, a bunch of houses. Oh, I bet, like, the farther you go into the game, the more densely populated the houses will become, and you'll get more of those satisfying combos. Where there's, like, a ton of gifts and all the sound effects. Oh, I can see, yeah, I can see where that could get real satisfying. It's a shame the dev decided to limit you to three minutes for the demo, because I feel like a lot of the satisfaction of the game is gonna come once you get past, like, the first three minutes. Timeout. Maybe we can try to, like, get there a little bit faster this time, perhaps? One more run? One more run. Yeah, let's get there, just, like, target these, like, shiny lights. Our next best choice is over here. Wait, why is that one not lit to my right? Oh, that one's so far away. Oh, uh, it does seem to be procedurally generated. Because I don't recall there being an aisle with two on it in the previous run, so... A little bit of procedural generation here keeps things interesting. 
There we go. So there's only two. So you don't have to hit every house. You only have to hit the houses with like the shining lights on them. Okay. I guess that makes sense. You could have like, you know, a house. Epic moonshot. Wait, what? Oh, because I got like a good view of the moon here. When we like look the camera up. Why did. I, wait, I guess I wasn't close enough to that one. Alright, let's get down here. I think I got my axis converted or whatever. No, 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 no. I can change that in the controls, but like whatever. We're, we'll get used to it. Oh boy. Alright, we need to get some distance, then turn around. So much for my like speed run, huh? Come here. Got a little bit of tough RNG here on the on the generation of where these guys spawned all close together, but like massive vertical differential of where they're at. Quick, give them the goods. Don't crash. Ooh, cutting it close. Keep it exciting. Alright, no no no. Oh, crash with elegance. That is just unlucky. Alright, well I didn't like that run anyways. We'll do another one. That was a terrible run. We got really screwed by the RNG. Oh, three this time. It's only two last time. There was brutal RNG. Kind of like buzz the house. Mm. Feel, I feel like I'm risking smashing into the house. It's very relaxing. I do feel like a little bit of music would be nice. Also, is like an, an option to like boost would be pretty good. You know, where you could just like, if you want to, you can chill and go slow. Or you can like hold down the A button and like, you know, zoom a little bit faster. That way, if you're going across like, this giant ocean that takes like 10 seconds to cross, you can hold A and just zoom it a little bit faster. I feel like that would be nice. You know, go slow for me, the tight controls, and almost like this, but when you're like, you know, like right here, I'd, look how far away that is. Give me a boost to get there faster. Oh, but this is what I'm talking about right here. Give me the combo. All three? That's satisfying right there. Yeah, we definitely need some kind of a boost feature for, uh, far away houses, or just design it so the houses don't spawn quite so far away. Either would work, or just keep it as is and gear it towards a more patient audience. Works too. Probably is designed for a patient audience, right? There we go. Ooh, a little bit of this. Oh no, excuse me, trees. Can't remember I can actually hit the trees. If I hold down, am I like automatically like... It does kind of automatically correct itself back to not crashing into the ground. That's more like it. It's like I hold down for a second and then like, the deer automatically kind of like level out a bit. Because they don't want to crash into the ground. I wonder if you can crash into the ground. That's not something I want to test because I want to get to a better score. Oh, no, 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 careful, careful. No, no. Oh, unlucky. Didn't realize it was that, that close to skimming into that. Well, I like what I see. I see potential here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.